Her heart is still in the wild, but now Kenya lives in an enclosure in a Spanish animal shelter near Alicante. The female clouded leopard is only 11 months old, but she has suffered greatly. Caregiver Belly Dai is nursing her back to health. She was confiscated from a private owner who had neglected her. She must have been poorly fed from the start, and she's even gone blind. The private breeder now has to face the authorities for violating the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. The East Asian clouded leopard is also an endangered species, so Kenya is a rarity. It's so frustrating. Normally, these animals have very good eyes. We had to specially equip the enclosure with ramps because otherwise she couldn't find the different levels. These leopards live in the trees. They need differences in height to develop properly. Spain has become a gateway for illegally traded exotic species. The police often find them when inspecting ships arriving in Alicante from the nearby continent of Africa. Maria Peyacer works for a special environmental crime unit. In passenger luggage here and at the airport, she's found birds, snakes and tortoises. It's so sad. These ruthless people have no qualms about tearing these animals from their habitat and treating them like toys. This police video from September 2021 shows the liberation of a female chimpanzee who had been alone in a cage for five years. Illegal imports of protected animals are rising. In 2022, smuggling into Spain increased by more than half compared to the previous year. Organized criminals are often behind it. You need contacts in the country of origin to find the animals, and you need a network in Europe to import them. This is a highly profitable business. A monkey, for example, might cost five or six euros in Africa, and here it can fetch 2,000 euros or more. According to the World Wildlife Fund, this global business is worth billions. Silvia Diaz says the illegal animal trade comes third after drugs and weapons. But its impact is underestimated. Arms trafficking and drug smuggling are taken more seriously. More effort is put into enforcement. Illegal animal trafficking is just as serious, but it isn't seen as such. It's not pursued and prosecuted as often. That makes these crimes even more lucrative. But authorities are often overwhelmed in the fight against the exotic animal trade. This macaque, for instance, was probably trafficked from Morocco to Spain, but the smugglers were able to cover the tracks. The dealers are using new technologies, selling the animals on the internet. They avoid detection because they can hide behind anonymous networks. They even use the dark web. The authorities don't have enough specialists to investigate properly, and animals are often rescued when it's too late. As with Kenya, the clouded leopard. She's too used to people, and she's blind. In the wild, she would never be able to deal with her own species. She was raised in captivity, so she's condemned to a life in captivity. This illegal trade makes Kenya and many other wild animals like her into products that lose their freedom forever.